Hi everyone and welcome back to our second video of our Mora based approach to Greek accentuation and in this video we're just going to go over rule one which couldn't be simpler. Recessive accentuation which is the most common and basic kind of accentuation in Greek works by assigning the high tone to Mora 3 unless Mora 3 and 2 are in the same vowel when the high tone goes on Mora 4. And I'm just going to show you this with some of the forms that you're likely to learn very early in your Greek career. First, um, some verbs and then some nouns. This is the verb form that means I release and I'll show you you release and she releases and some other ones of this verb in a second. But if you look at this form and you look at its Mora, Mora arrangement, and you look at its accent, and if you know what your accents are telling you, then you know that this acute is telling you that the right word mora of the bimoraic upsilon here has the high tone, so mora 3. And when we switch to the U form, mora 3. And when we switch to the she, he, it form, mora 3. And when we switch to the we form, slightly different moraic arrangement, but notice what the accentuation is telling you. The accentuation is telling you mora 3 has the high tone. And in all of these forms, you'll notice mora 3 and 2 are in separate vowels. And that's true for the plural U form as well. And notice what we have. We have mora 3 high tone. But when we get to the they form, lusin, notice that 3 and 2 are now together in that diphthong u. And guess what we have? We have mora 4 tone expressed. And this is exactly what our rule tells us is going to happen. And this is going to happen all over the Greek language. So I will prove it by showing you another verb. This is paideo. It's a longer verb. It's got a different moraic arrangement sort of towards the front. But at the end, it's basically the same. And you have six forms here. I, you, he, we, you all, you all and they teach. And you will see that in every single one of them, you have this rule being followed. The first five, more I three and two are separate. So more a three tone is expressed. The final form, more a three and two are together. So we have more a four tone. And it works on nouns. Nouns are gonna have, each noun in Greek is gonna have five singular forms. And these are five, the five singular forms of the word person, anthropos. And you will see that sometimes we've got three and two together and sometimes we have three and two separate. And in all of the forms where three and two are together, you've got more a four tone expressed, whereas when they are separate, you've got more a three tone expressed. And the same thing is true over in the plural. Some forms have three and two together. Some forms have three and two separate. The ones where it's together, more a four tone. The ones where they are apart, we have our default tone position of Mora 3. And that is it. At this point, you can actually accent a huge number of words in classical Greek. And when we get to rule 2, you will be able to accent the vast majority of words in ancient Greek.